Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Uh, my name is Mafalda and I'm the creator of the Bookworm Retreat, both the channel, the blog and the Instagram. So you can follow me um, on Instagram if you want. Um, it's about books mainly, but I also talk about my lifestyle, you know, PhD and all of that. So if you guys can follow me on Instagram, I'll be very much pleased. <laughs> the links are in the, script, in the description box down below. So I'm still kind of, <laughs> I don't want to say hangover, but kind of like missing Christmas season. Even though it ended last week, I'm still trying to get the hang of things. And so I decided to do this video, you know, to boost my <laughs> uh, energy in order to like be happy for 2023. So on today's video, we are going to talk about the five fantasy books that I'm most excited that are being released in this in 2023. So in this year, so let's go. As always, I have my iPad so I don't mess up the names of things. So let's do this. I actually have only see the release dates until June 2023. So I'm more, I'm pretty much sure that. In, from June until December 23, more books, fantasy books, romance books, or whatever, are coming out. But I'm doing this, you know, this video in the beginning of the year, so I don't <laughs> lose myself in the readings because my TBR is already long enough, and I don't need more books. So I am always in the books. We are. We all know that. But <laughs> so the first book that I'm really excited and that's why it's the first book and will come out in February. It's The Course of Ophelia by Nicola, oh sorry, Nicole Platina. Platina? It's kind of like how you say, okay, it doesn't matter, Platina. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the book is kind of a fantasy, um, I think it's kind of mixed with um, Ophelia's myth, so you kind of have like the Greek mythology in the middle of the story slash Shakespeare but <laughs> I think that it, it's interesting I saw you know I read the synopsis the summary on good good uh, good reads <laughs> and I saw the the summary and I think it's it's something that I'm really excited you know it's I when I read the summary I thought it was second book because the summary says that two years after the war she did Ophelia didn't is, Ophelia uh, has seen the boy she loves you know all of that and I felt I, felt, I was like oh, what happened what's the war they're all talking about but I think that um, they will tackle that on the book during the story so I think it's a very good summary overall so we know that you have curses you have you know um, love that, that died in the war, apparently. You have myths with her closest friend by her side. Ophelia embarks on a race against death, one that will not challenge her physically, but make her question mystic leaders, the angels, and her belief in love. So, yeah, I think it's interesting. Um, they say that it's perfect for fans of Throne of Glass, From Blood and Ash, and The Bridge Kingdom, which are the three books that I really like. So, I'm sold. I want to read it. It comes out in February. Uh, so Yay. now um, the second book is already out. It's from Ollie Black. It's called The Stolen Air. And I think it's, um, you know, 17 years after the Queen of Nothing, so after the Folk of Air trilogy, which is cool. And the story follows now Hawk. Uh, Hawk? 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 Sorry, um, you know, the the Stolen Air. <laughs> so the, the book is called The Stolen Air and it follows the story of Hulk, uh, that it's now 17 and um, it's supposed that, and he's supposed to, you know, be the king of Elfheim. And so as, I don't know if you guys read the Folk of um, Hair trilogy, so the Cruel Prince, the King of Nothing, the King of Nothing, no, Cruel Prince, the Wicked King and the Queen of Nothing, the three books. This follows that story 17 years later. So I'm not going to say much because if you guys haven't read the story, they, you will probably not understand what I'm saying, but basically is one of the characters that it's a little kid at the Folk of Air trilogy and now is 17 and will uh, 
return to Elfheim, that's the land of the fairies, and you know, all of that. So <laughs> that's why I'm super excited because um, I really liked The Cruel Prince. Um, it's not, I don't really like some things, some things are really bad, but overall it's it's a good book, they are good books, it's a good trilogy, so I'm really excited to see uh, where Olive Black will take this history. So the third book that I'm really excited to read in 2023 is Titred. I think that I'm saying that right, it's difficult, it's a word that I never heard someone say, so if I'm wrong I'm sorry, but it's by Elena Regalia and it's The Bind Chronicle of Book One, so we already know that's a book two coming out at the same time, and it's about an arranged marriage, so it's a troupe that I really like. And um, the thing is, it's not just an arranged marriage, it's an arranged marriage with a vampire, which <laughs> she's ticking all the boxes that I like, it's fantasy, so I really like the, those troops. And um, she, um, you know, the main character, I think she is human. Um, not, I don't, I don't know if it's, if she's human or if she's a witch, I think she's human um, and he's a vampire. Uh, we don't really know why she's marrying him, why there is this uh, arranged marriage, but that I think that's something that we need to figure out <laughs> during the story. And um, I think it's very interesting because um, they do have, so it's a slow burn novel and it's a young adult with um, some steamy scenes, like it's, it's something that probably 16, older than 16 years old should read, not younger. But I think it's interesting because they are, you know, it's the same troupe that we all know, like Arrange Mirrors and Vampires, but I think it's a very um, new approach to the thing. I'm not 100% sure and I hope that I'm right, but at the same time I really enjoy the cover, as you guys can see, so <laughs> another reason that I buy books is because of the cover. Don't blame me, blame the covers. <laughs> so that's the third book that I really enjoy. Oh, that I'm really excited. So keeping vampires um, theme here, another book that I'm really excited about is The Witch and the Vampire by Francesca Flores. And this book is queer, so, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little low energy. If you guys uh, can see, I'm kind of like trying to talk, but I'm really low energy today, I don't know why, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So the book is a queer book, it's a young adult, which is very, very interesting, and you have two characters, Ava and Kaya, I think that's how you say her name, and uh, one night Kaya is transformed to a vampire, into a vampire, and um, Ava is still a witch, I think that from what I could tell by the summary, I think Kaya was also a witch, but she was turned into a vampire, and they together are forced to, you know, move away, run away, and trust themselves and in each other, and that's kind of like interesting. And you know that um, you have that um, idea of love overcome, overcomes everything, but at the same time you see that um, Ava and Kaya are forced to question everything that they hold here um, because of that transformation, because of that attack that changed Kaya. And I think it's very interesting. I think I never read a book with um, fan a fantasy book with a vampire and a, a witch, uh, let alone, I mean, I read but not in this young adult kind of thing, let alone a queer book. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys can also read it because I think it will be. A very good read. <laughs> okay, the last book that I want to talk about, the fifth book that I want to talk about, it's I, I haven't read the, the summary yet. I really enjoyed the cover <laughs> and I enjoyed the title. So the title is A Witch's Guide to Fake Date a Demon. So it's already, it's in the title, so you know it's a fake date uh, troop. <laughs> so it's one of my favorite troops, so yay. And it's by Sarah Holly. And I think that it's, it's interesting because, again, it's <laughs> witches and demons, witches and vampires, I have a thing about that, so I'm sorry. But um, I think it's interesting uh, to see, um, you know, how um, these kind of sassy titles are appearing and they appeal much more than just a word or, you know, something like that. And at the same time, you do have, so you have two characters, Marielle and... 
Um, I don't know if you, if you know... Oh, Ozort? Ozort the Ruthless. So it's the name of the demon. The witch is doing a <laughs> kind of summoning spell that goes wrong and she ends up binding herself to the demon. And it's not very good, so now she has a demon on her back, literally. And um, everything goes wrong since then. So, but everything, so they have preconcepts and misconcepts ideas about each other, obviously, because they are like enemies. But Mariel and Hozort realize that those misconceptions and those preconceptions are wrong. And because they hang out almost <laughs> every single minute. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that uh, relationship and that deconstruction of ideas. I really enjoy that. And I also enjoy uh, the fake dating and enemies to lovers <laughs> troops. So I'm down to that. And I'm really excited to read that book. I really hope that these five books are amazing because I'm really excited because of the five. And I already have The Stolen Air. I haven't started yet. Um, I'm reading other stuff, but I can't wait to read it. And yeah. So guys, those are the five books that I am really excited to read this year. They are coming out this year, obviously. I have a TBR, an endless TBR, as most of the bookworms that I know have. But I am super, super, super excited. And I want to um, do a shout out or you know, shout out to someone um, on this video. So as most of you know, here in Portugal we don't have a lot of um, Portuguese authors that are focusing on writing fantasy. It's a huge flaw and it's something that always bugged me. So we do have fantasy, but it's usually translated. It's not original, it's not Portuguese. And we do have a lot of myths and, you know, magical locations that could uh, do... <laughs> could be in very uh, good for um, fantasy history, but we don't have authors for that. That being said, I want to shout out to an author that will release her first book. She's called Ana Teresa Barreiros. Um, she's also a YouTuber, so you can check her page. Uh, uh, in, in The link is in the description box down below, so you can check her out. Um, uh, in a very positive way, please. <laughs> and um, she's she's releasing her book, it's called Victoria, and it's a fantasy book, so it's in Portuguese. So obviously, if you guys don't understand Portuguese, I'm sorry. I hope that she one day can have translations. <laughs> but for Portuguese fans, it's amazing because we don't usually have or ever have um, um, uh, an author, a Portuguese author, um, <laughs> writing in writing Portuguese and writing about fantasy. So I'm really excited. The book will be released on the 2nd of February 2023 and the pre-sale is already on, on the Cultura website and on the Good Books website. It's a bookshop that you can also, and I shout out it before, but you can always buy books there and she, and they have amazing deals there for the book. So yeah, it's something that we don't usually have in Portuguese, so it's very good and it's very important that we show to the Portuguese um, publishers that we are very interested in having more Portuguese authors writing about different things and different genre. So yeah, that is like a huge <laughs> tangent to what I was saying, but it's also a fantasy book that I'm really excited and I wanted to do a shout out. So those are the five books, minus the Victoria one. Those are the five books I'm really excited and I want to read and of course I'll do my reviews along the year so you can, guys can check it out if the books are good or no but I think they are and I'm really excited for that. So my darlings that's all for me. I hope you guys like this video. I hope this video inspired you to read more fantasy or at least uh, to add more books to your endless TBR like mine. But yeah, I hope it was fun. I'm sorry I'm a little bit low energy. I think it's because of the holiday season yet. So it's been a couple of days and I'm trying to regain the energy again. But <laughs> but I still have the Christmas tree right here. So I'm, I'm really, really, really lazy right now. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you aren't here already. And let me know if you get what you guys think. Uh, yeah, it's all. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week, a wonderful day, and see you in the next one. Bye.